Everyone wants to know why I cut my hair and trust me, I feel the same exact way that each and every one of you do. I don't even know where to begin, but it was a huge decision for me to do so. I mean, the last time I chopped it all off was in 2014, so you can only imagine how I feel. After that first big chop in 2014, my hair grew back so beautifully and that hair, I'm I mean, hair that I never in my entire life seen before, the curls, the volume, the thickness, everything about it, it was just so beautiful. And that brought me so much attention uh, with hair companies. I've always tried to always represent much more than my looks and my hair. So my hair does not define me, but it was bringing me a lot of attention, especially with companies. So I promised myself that I wasn't gonna work with any huge companies, that I was gonna stay with uh, smaller companies. However, I failed to keep that promise and I ended up working with big companies like Diva Curl. That company, and I don't wanna make this video about them, they caused me a lot of trauma with my hair. Uh, my scalp has been suffering a lot. My hair was losing volume, uh, texture, pattern and definitely density. My hair was thinning so much. Uh, I honestly don't know what else to say regarding this experience besides the fact that my scalp is so itchy. I get sores from time to time. My hair is aging. I'm talking about graying. I'm experiencing a lot of graying in the areas where I feel these symptoms. So, I noticed myself depending so much on my hair and having to take care of it so much that I made the decision with the assistance of my man who supported me, encouraged me, and told me that everything was gonna be okay, that hair would grow back, but the most important thing was my health and my state of mind. So I took advantage of that encouragement, which gave me a lot of motivation to make the big, big decision of chopping it all off. That has given me the opportunity to focus on my scalp health without having to worry about taking care of it and making it, you know, look good every day. So, you know, that's pretty much the reason why I cut my hair. I know everybody's asking why would she do that? Her hair was so beautiful. And I know that for everyone else, there was no issue with my hair because you got to see pictures of it always beautiful and well taken care of and beautifully defined but in contrast to how my hair used to be how my scalp used to feel I noticed the difference and I choose my health over appearance I've never um, put myself out there as just my hair uh, that has never been the only thing to represent me as a person I have so much more to offer and I am so much more than my hair so I didn't crucify myself to the image of having hair it has definitely been difficult to be back at square one, but it gives me the opportunity to focus on myself, to focus on um, all the other amazing qualities that I do have and magnify that so much more than, you know, beautiful, luscious curls. So, <sighs> it's so hard to speak in front of a camera, I swear. Um, so yeah, it gives me the opportunity to show much more of myself than just hair. And it has also helped me embrace much more about myself. So I look at this as a beautiful experience. Hair does grow back and God willing, I will overcome this situation that I'm going through. I understand there's so many more women out there I'm talking about thousands of women who are suffering these symptoms and are going through the same situation. I just want you to know that you are not alone. Keep being positive, try meditation, think beautiful things and leave it up to God. I mean, pray. I don't know what else we can do during these times because the company isn't coming forward. They aren't addressing anything appropriately. Uh, I've pretty much tried everything and nothing seems to work. But I don't want to put that out into the universe because there's something bigger than all of us out there. And I know that 
it's going to come through for each and every one of us. We just have to have the faith and keep trying to move forward, even though it's not easy. I'm, I, I mean, I just went through a phase of scratching uh, the, like five minutes ago. It's not easy. Um, I have a sore right now here. I don't know if you guys could see it, but my hair is thin. There's areas where you see um, it's light. So I'm not even playing around with the situation. It's a serious, serious matter for me. I have lost so much in this process, but I have gained even more spiritually and mentally, so I cannot complain. What else? I am not promoting any products right now. I feel like I have no right to and I shouldn't, especially since I'm going through so much with my own hair and my own scalp. I cannot promote any products. I am, however, using a product that is not from the United States with the hopes that it does work. Um, so if it does work, I will be sharing that with you. However, I did pause the use of it because I wanted to give my body something that I never given it before. And it's the opportunity to heal on its own without my assistance of the use of any products or any, you know, medications or anything like that. So I have officially made the decision to refrain from the use of any products, shampoos, conditioners, creams, ointments, anything, and just go 30 full days without washing, touching, or doing anything to my hair, just water, uh, to see how my body handles it and what it does with that. You know, our body is so amazing. So maybe I am overwhelming it with so much things that I haven't given it the opportunity to heal on its own and generate its own oils and produce its own, you know, healing benefits. So I'm gonna try that and I'll let you know what happens the first day is today um, I'm officially not washing my hair not doing anything to my hair for a full month and I will definitely update you guys on how that worked out for me moving forward uh, my experience with short hair has been um, beautiful it's been liberating i got the opportunity to wake up again and i have to go through a whole routine it has given me the opportunity to learn about companies and products and ingredients and the quality of it so moving forward i will definitely make better decisions on what things i allow myself to apply to my hair other than that um it's just been a very beautiful experience it's been liberating to say the to say the least, to not have to deal with my hair or fix it up or make it look beautiful, you know, for the sake of my appearance. It has been beautiful for me because not only have I been uh, disconnected from the world and people, I have been meditating a lot and focusing, you know, on my family and home. So that has been a big weight off my shoulders, <laughs> literally. So, um... I do get kind of jealous though when I see other curly girls walking around me. It's kind of like, an, uh, since I'm so self-aware now um, about my emotions and my thoughts, I, I have <laughs> been in positions where girls with curly hair are walking by and I, I become aware of myself and, and I observe my instinct and my my instinct was before something that I was never aware of with curly hair was to assume that we were in competition or something, secret competition in my head. Like, oh, you think you have nice curly hair? Look at mine. And then, you know, <laughs> getting a little arrogant about my curly hair. And um, I do compliment girls, though, by the way. I always compliment girls, but... I am very proud of my curls and I make sure that they're visible and they're shining and luscious and all that. So, you know, curly curly girls know what I'm talking about. When you see another girl with curly hair, it's like mine are popping too. Hey, you know, you walk around. So I noticed that happening to me and I'm not going to lie. It's very funny because... I didn't have the curls. I'd be like, in my head, I'll instinctively, um, you know, react internally. Like, 
my curls are popping like look at her like i hope she notices it um you know i hope she notices my hair but bitch i got no more hair like it's over it's over for maybe three years i'm done i'm retired temporarily retired but i didn't know this i didn't know that that was my instinct but now that i'm so extremely aware of everything i caught on to it immediately it did happen not only was it funny to me because i didn't have curls anymore but i became aware and i realized holy shit i need to humble myself and stop you know allowing my body to react like that and that was a beautiful thing i learned i'm not gonna lie uh what else can i tell you guys Ah, guys, do your research when you're um, putting products in your hair. Um, there's so many ingredients that aren't even in natural hair products that are very bad for you. And maybe not if, if you only use one of their products, but if you use several of them, the percentage of the, those um, ingredients and the concentration of those ingredients magnify onto your scalp, uh, leading to long-term issues where your skin eventually begins to react to them. So just do your research. Um, I fucked up. I learned from it. I, I, I can't do nothing about it. I can only move forward. Uh, I made a mistake when I broke my promise in only working with small companies because uh, I got caught up. I got caught up with the attention my hair was getting. I saw opportunities. I wanted to be on a billboard. I wanted... I set all these goals and plans that I wanted to catch up to and I felt that that was the best way, not being cautious or aware of what I was really getting myself into. We have to be mindful that these big corporations, these big companies, once they get so big, they lose um, they lose the, the quality, they lose that, that love for the ingredients, for the quality over quantity. Um, you know idea and that's something that the small companies who make their products at home and own small businesses care about because they're trying to grow their business they're trying to you know grow their brand and and make it a big company and that's when you you know i wish companies retain that um that aspect of maintaining the quality of their products and you know but what can you expect? Money. Money does that to people. So I um, can only tell you guys to do your research. Be careful what you're putting on your hair. I wish there was more I could tell you, but this is my reason on why I cut my hair. I hope I answered your questions. Remember, I am more than my hair. I bring so much more to the table. I know it's not something a lot of you would have wanted me to do trust me i didn't want to do it either but i had to i'm going through a lot of uh symptoms right now with my scalp and i just hope that no one that's watching this video ever has to go through something like this use me as an example uh stop listening to these influencers anybody promoting products uh they don't know what they're talking about honestly scientifically speaking uh, the more that I research and the more that I see the products that are being promoted, the more that I realize that people don't know what they're talking about. That's why it's the best thing you can do in every area of your life is be your own researcher. Um, educate yourselves on everything. Don't believe everything you see. Don't believe everything you read. Educate yourself. That's all I can say, honestly. I have so much more videos coming, guys. I promise you. I don't want to make this video very long, but I am at a place now where I am so happy. I am so sure of myself. I am so confident. I am very, very aligned. I understand my purpose here. I understand everything. I took the time. I isolated myself. I removed every single friend. I've been very lonely for a very long time. I'm not going to lie. I'm at the point where I want to, ma I want to manifest some really good friends, some gentle, loving, caring, loyal, um, positive people that can elevate with me, uh, positive women that can elevate with me and continue to 
uh, uplift me and, you know, we can tag team on this journey and raise ourselves above everything. So um, the only thing I could tell you is that speaking to a camera is not my thing. I am learning. I am growing. I am ready to take on the challenge and practice and develop myself so much more. It takes time, patience, and a lot of discipline and consistency. And that is something that I am very much looking forward to. It is very difficult though to speak to a camera that is not having feedback for me or questions or beautiful energy to exchange with me. So bear with me, it's so hard, but I promise you, I am going to get better and I can't wait to share so much more information with you guys, so much more content. I can't wait, honestly. I have so much more to tell you guys. Just make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, make sure you subscribe to my website. Um, a lot of videos are always going to be released on my website first. So I suggest you to subscribe there. Um, nothing else, honestly. Thank you guys for watching. One last thing is thank you guys so much for the love that you guys give me. I am so grateful for that. Just reciprocating that beautiful energy that I give out. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Uh, take care. Um, take care. Love you. Be. God bless you guys. I don't know how to end this video. Thank you. Take care. Love you. Bye. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so Anyways, thank you guys. Anyways, take... Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, bye. Wish you all, <laughs> wish you all, <laughs> tag nabbit, wish you all the best, please, um, wish you all the best, please take care of yourselves, bye.